grabbing and yanking and removing volume. I'm going to use a leaf bag to uh, smother out the light to keep the weeds from coming back. Now I just put the weeds on top right, to hold it down. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and for those that watch my channel a lot, you know that I'm a guy that always uses mulch everywhere and uh, I don't usually have problems with weeds. This year, <laughs> for a number of my gardens, I didn't mulch them. Uh, for various reasons, I won't bother getting into it here. But uh, anyway, this is one of them. Looks like crap. Believe it or not, there's peppers growing in this garden and uh, you can't see them for all the weeds. And I've weeded this twice. And of course they keep coming back because that's what weeds do. Uh, so uh, I'm putting off just dealing with this because I just, just haven't, I've been procrastinating, put it that way, right? So today we're gonna deal with this. Okay, and I got an idea of a good way to do it. So let me walk you through the process. So I got peppers growing here and in between the peppers, I got all these, all these damn weeds, all right? So the idea here is to rip off the weeds. Okay, just, just a mad grab, okay? So I'm not, I'm not going into any detail. I'm not being meticulous, right? I'm just grabbing, don't want that. I'm just grabbing and yanking and removing volume. Anything that doesn't want to come out, fine. I'm not going to argue, but I just want, I want to remove the height and I want to remove the volume. All right, so let me do that. Jeez, that's a stupid thing to leave lying around. Yeah. All right, so let me do that and we'll get back to you in a second. So I got the volume out and I've done this a couple times already this season. Of course, it already, already came, always came back. Uh, so now I'm going to complete the process <laughs> and solve this using these leaf bags. All right, so the idea here is that I'm going to use a leaf bag to uh, smother out the light to keep the weeds from coming back. And I'm going to use the weeds I pulled out to hold the leaf bag down, keep it from blowing away, that sort of thing, right? So, you got to fiddle with it a little bit, of course. Always fiddling in a garden, right? But. I've been putting off doing this. And I mean, if I'd done this the first time uh, I weeded this garden, I wouldn't have had to do it again. Right, because this leaf bag will kill all the light. And it'll, it'll take about, oh, a month to rot out. Right, so, that's, you know, most of these weeds, only, only tremendous weeds can, can be starved of light for a month and, and survive, survive that, right? Most weeds, that, that'll end them. Um, so, you know, the ones it doesn't work on, you just pull them later. <laughs> but I'm pretty confident we're going to, deal with most of it here this morning and you'll see it's not that difficult to process so I mean I call this reverse mulching because you know if the garden had been mulched in the first place I wouldn't need to do this right as as I've been showing in my garden videos for years right now I just put the weeds 
on top, right, to hold it down, they won't reroot because the roots are exposed, right? The sun will just kill the weeds. Instead of, you know, instead of helping them grow now, the sun becomes a, an herbicide because <laughs> the weeds are on top of the mulch. All right, let's do the other side here. So I should take, this is a four by eight bed, and it should take about five bags, right, to, uh, to give you sufficient coverage. You can see I brought my, my scissors out with the, uh, the idea of being precise with this. And you can also see that I, I gave that up almost immediately. <laughs> no need of it. What's the point? Almost like doing quilting, <laughs> right? Like a patchwork. I'm out here really early in the morning because uh, it's like 6 a.m. Because otherwise the flies would be too bad. And even at this time of day, I need bug repellent just to be out here. Um, the bugs are so darn bad. There we go. Not bad. All right. Got some of that weed on there. Grab some weeds from the walking path as well. A couple right, a couple right here. Just begging to be pulled. There we go. I like being kind of, you know, doing more than one thing at a time. I'm out in the garden. So I'll put some of this weed trap on. So I'm, I'm using the weeds that were a problem are now becoming a solution, right, because they're holding this paper down. Let me do the other half. I think I got enough stuff down now to keep all this from blowing away. So, whew, I'm out of breath. Doesn't look like much right now, but all of these weeds will turn brown. And, you know, in a couple weeks, basically the only thing green will be these bushy little pepper plants and everything else will be brown, and any weed seed or any weed that's still rooted in the ground won't be able to grow because it's, it's you know, the sun's been smothered out by this paper. And most weeds, you know, if you've ever raked up grass on your lawn and left a pile of grass, 
you leave it there for a month or so, it kills the grass underneath, right? So that's the same thing here. Everything that grows needs sun to grow. If it doesn't get sun, just like you, it starves to death. Sun is the source of energy. Take away the energy, kill the weed. So we're using weeds to kill weeds with garbage, <laughs> right? Leaf bag paper. <laughs> so to me, this is a beautiful way to solve a weed problem. Um, I'm hoping that these, these peppers have not, I mean, I'm, I've never, if you're looking at these peppers saying, wow, those look pathetic. Um, I've always had been challenged growing peppers where I am here. Um, I just don't get, never seem, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where I put them, I don't get good sun. These are actually the best peppers I've ever grown. I actually have peppers forming on the plants and it's still July. I mean, usually when I plant peppers, I'm just starting to get peppers on the plants in September uh, and, and we can get frost in September. Uh, so I'm often optimistic. We've got a lot of flowers on these plants. I already got a peppers formed. Uh, I planted these indoors in my south facing window, first of March. And uh, yeah, they don't look like much, but these are the best peppers I've ever grown. <laughs> and now I've given them a real chance by removing, I mean, all these other weeds, um, you know, they're, they're competing for water, they're competing for nutrients. Um, you know, uh, I mean, the weeds are useful because they shade the soil, right? They cover the soil. So to some extent, they're, they're useful in that sense, but they're also, you know, getting, taking out the same stuff that the plants are taking out. So depending on how available the moisture, I mean, I'm not worried about the weeds out competing these plants for nutrients, it's water, especially this time of year, late July, August, um, in Nova Scotia, Canada, where I live, that's the, the only two dry times of the year. <laughs> and even that being said, we probably got an inch and a half to two inches of rain yesterday. Um, um, we, we'd had a, a, like a week, maybe even two weeks with no real rain. Um, so for us, that's like a drought, right? <laughs> anyway, we got a ton of rain yesterday. So it's, it's a good time to get out, you know, I should, you know, and everything that's not covered needs to, needs to get covered so that you can hold that water, hold that moisture in the soil. Now by putting paper over this and then covering it with, with dead weeds, um, you know, this is going to just be a great growing environment for these peppers and they're going to do great. And any weed seed, anything, any, any weed problem that's underneath this paper is not going to be a problem for the remainder of the season. Uh, some of you might be saying, my goodness, I can see all the flowers on the, on the weeds you throw in there. Yeah, I just put a ton of weed seeds on this garden, but this garden's full of them anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, if I, you know, let's say I meticulously picked off all the flowers on all the plants I threw back on here, there'd still be a million weeds in here. A million weeds and a million weed seeds. So it's not, you know, when you're at this point, it's not worth worrying about. Keep your soil covered and you get your weeds under control. Anyway, I hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. <laughs>